Last time on Dragon Ball Z. Will he dodge it? Will he dodge it? It's a sinker. Yeah, I just had to show that again. <laughs> Rock to the face. <laughs> <laughs> and he falls back into lava, which he's made of. Yeah, I'm sure that would kill him. Achievement unlocked. Hey. You wasted some more of your time. Yes, this is the <laughs> first time I've bothered to clear Silver Story on this account. And it's the last time I'm going to do it, too. Ooh, what ranking did you get? 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 Ooh. That wasn't an S. <laughs> B for baseball. Uh, okay. It's the somewhat good CG. No, it's not. It's the bad CG. Shut up. Chaos Emeralds. Lend me your power. Eternal no, look at this. It's just the character models from in-game. Not even the proper CG. Why didn't they use the same uh, kind of chant Knuckles did in Adventure 1 and 2? It made more sense than whatever the hell he's spouting here. Do um, you think the people who made this game because, actually cared because at that all? that was a chant that had to do with the Master Emerald. Whatever. This isn't the Master Emerald. This is the Red Ring of Death, goddammit. You know, if you only sealed them inside yourself once you died, he would just come out again. So this really Don't isn't worry. a problem. In an alternate timeline, I was a princess. I will be accepted. Because, you know, I'm royal. Like that. Make it quick. Use your chaos control. Just what would that do? Wait, wait. No, I can make... Different dimension portals too? Really? <laughs> no, Blaze, I, I love you. I can't banish you to the Shadow Realm. Let me get out of this game as fast as I can. I have other games to be in. <laughs> I can't stand to be here a second longer. I don't want to be a playable character in Last Story. <laughs> I can't be in the Last Story. I'm out of here. Fuck this. <laughs> this isn't worth my time. You hear that, fangirls? They're friends. Just Man. friends. <laughs> okay, I don't get what's happening here, because apparently she's, uh, disintegrating or no. something? Damn it, Sonic 06, you've killed the one good character in this game. Thus proving once and for all, this game never wanted to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this game was just one big troll on the Sonic community. Maybe that's so, it. Maybe it wasn't that they had no time to finish it. Maybe they were just like, let's piss off the Sonic fans, because they'll buy anything. So what happened to her, exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Sorry. This game got ripped out of existence on its own. No, I mean... She needed silver to get sent into a different dimension, and then suddenly she doesn't need silver anymore. Well, why? What what happened? Why? Where did she go? Well, at least it's I, a good song. <laughs> I'm so confused. And God damn you, Johnny! You're not watching us with it. You're not. You're not watching this part. <laughs> I have to get. I have to sit here being bored and confused. And you took your get out of jail free card because you're sick tonight. I'll get you back one of these days, Johnny. I promise. I'm going to regret my words. Not Fuck you, Will. Oh, oh he's back. back. <laughs> <laughs> Speak of the devil, he shall appear. Just in time to sit through the credits. I'm only sitting through this credit sequence and I'm gonna go collapse in my bed. I didn't drop I the call Dreams because I wanted absolute. to hear what you guys said. Well, Dreams of an Absolution is a good song, so at least it came back for that. Yeah, yeah. it's the best part of the fucking playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> Great. The theme song apparently the, this uh, the guy who, is the best part of the game. Apparently the guy who wrote the song, Dreams of an Absolution, he didn't actually intend to go for a Green Hill type of melody in the song, but it actually was totally accidental that people hear Green Hill in the song. I can sort of hear Green Hill, but not completely. Where? No, seriously, where? It, the, 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 synth, the synth bass. Uh, uh. It, it's, it's partly there, but, uh, you know. It's just a nice coincidence. Da -na, da -na, na -na, na. You know what else is a nice coincidence? Hothead the porcupine's head looks like nights into dreams. You know, when you ignore the 
pothead part. Uh, nice into Dreams is a much better game I'd rather be playing. I wish they released the PS2 uh, port in America. I might actually be able to play the game if they had. No, I'm stuck with Journey of, D Journey of Dreams, you know, the half-assed sequel. Which is okay, but not as good. Then you have to put up with the kids all the time. Kind of like Sonic X or something. But yeah, uh, this is definitely the most boring story of the three, and uh, I'm just so glad it's over. You were the one who suggested we do it second. Well, to get it over with. <laughs> uh... That we were going to go straight from Shadow... If we went from Shadow to this, we'd be so dead by the time last story came around. At least now we have Shadow <laughs> live in the mood before we get to that abomination. Yeah, Shadow is our is our light of hope for this playthrough. <laughs> so you know not, this game can't be good. Not very many Sonic, game, Sonic fans would say that about Shadow in any context, but in this game, he's actually one of the best parts. Which is weird, because he's universally lambasted as a symbol of everything that's bad about Sonic games these days. <laughs> I wonder why. What am I fighting for? Okay. <laughs> I got that out of my system. Does anybody ever actually watch the credits during these sequences? Or do we just watch the little window in the corner there that's showing the story? Which is more interesting, the story or the credits? When the credits come up, I'm usually go get a drink of something. Uh, yeah. Depends if I'm allowed to skip it with the pause button. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it just occurred to me that I never bothered to actually check the credits to make sure my Dazzle hadn't fucked up. It hasn't fucked up so far, so I can only assume that Dazzle reacts better to credit rolls than it does to Dragon Age Origins. Fuck you, Dazzle. I hate you. I hate you with every bit of hate in my being. I can't do my Dragon Age Origins Let's Play because Dazzle won't let me. Hmm. Get a better Dazzle. I need a better computer and something that isn't Dazzle. Uh, uh... I'm just trying to enjoy the music. Yeah, me too, actually. Clear! Psst. <laughs> uh, special thanks to Kashi Izuka. I wonder what he did. I bet they called him on the phone and he said, "Add more speed boosters." You Click. made that joke already. I know, but we watched <laughs> these credits already. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? Oh look, there's a guy called Na Naoko Uka. Apparently, Uka is a name in Japan. That guy's crazy. Hey, look, Shinobu is part of the localization support. The Shinobu is in this game. It's just that awesome, right? I guess coming to the end of the Silver playthrough, I'm going to have my closing thoughts that I don't like his, his playable character at all. Like, I hate... I think his gameplay is the worst in the whole game. I think his story is even more boring than Sonic's. Like, even though Sonic is just... Find a lease, find a lease, find a lease. I still find that the Iblis Trigger chase is boring and blah. I just hate Silver's playthrough. Uh, and then he shows up again in Sonic Rivals 2 for no reason whatsoever. No! Cutscene window! Come back! Please! There's nothing to watch but the credits now. And I've heard this song before. Yeah, to be fair, I don't, I don't hate the character of Silver. I just hate the game and his plot in this game. Like, if they wanted to reintroduce him... I was just going to say he's a dumb and ineffective Trunks. Yeah, pretty and much. That's what makes him so awesome in the Archie comics for the, like, two or three times he actually appears. He tries to assassinate Rotor the Walrus. <laughs> uh, Why was he after Rotor? Because apparently there's some traitor within the Freedom Fighters, but he doesn't know who the traitor was. He was looking up some old r records in some sort of library in the future, and he found out that originally there was a walrus in the Freedom Fighters named Boomer. And now there's a walrus in the Freedom Fighters named Rotor. Therefore, Rotor must be an imposter. I thought it was actually kind of a clever joke that they brought up the random name change that popped up in the early issues. As Rotor used to be called Boomer for some reason. 
And then they just changed his name to Rotor for no apparent reason. Mm. Thus proving the comics have a much better story than any of the other games have had in a long time. Yeah, well, people still find reason to hate them, but still. Well, it's a Sonic fan base. They hate everything. Uh, it, both Big the Cat and Silver the Hedgehog are actually pretty good in the comics. Granted, Big the Cat only appeared, like, during the Sonic Adventure uh, miniseries, which was shit, and then reappeared in one recent issue, in two recent issues, I'm sorry, like, within the last month or so. I don't know why they brought him back. Uh, because, that's why. Uh, is this over yet? Almost. Credit. Credits be gone, please. Oh, my screen went dark because because the uh, the Xbox's screensaver kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's back. Yeah, I was sitting here watching it. It took me several seconds to realize what had happened. I'm just like, what? What? Oh, not, right. It's not like we're missing anything. I know, but it would have been tacky of me to leave the screen darkened. Uh, I can't wait until November. Sonic Colors comes out on November. What was it? November 15th? Uh, Either way, next? we're done the silver playthrough. Thank God. Shadow is next. Woo! Yeah, it's still this game. So let's get moving! No!